Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Arizona and water and an emerging market and how we can kind of expect situations similar to this to develop around the country in the near future, even though they may not be identical to this. There is a community in Arizona, a rural community called the Rio Verde Foothills. Now, traditionally, this area gets their water from Scottsdale, from a nearby city. It has to be trucked in. And uh, that, that's what's been happening for years. Even though Scottsdale, for years, has been saying, hey, you all need to work out your own thing. Um, well, effective January 1st, Scottsdale is going to bar trucks from exporting water to those outside the city limits. So this rural community, which has 2,200 homes, is going to be cut off from their normal water supply. Out of those 2,200 homes, 500 of them rely on trucked-in water solely. There's an additional 200 that they have a well, but their well isn't completely reliable, so they have to supplement with trucked in water. That's 700 homes. This is all uh, Maricopa County. Now, what can the people in Rio Verde, in those foothills, what, what can they do? Well, they could try to develop their own water system, which there, there's an idea for that. However, when they tried to do it in the past, it, it didn't go well because a lot of the people in the community didn't want to basically give up what they would have to give up to make it happen. Another option would be to have people truck it in from further away, which is going to make that water cost a whole lot more. Um, and those are the options that are really being reported on in the media. What's another one? one that people probably don't want to speculate about, but I think we know it would happen with 700 homes. Somebody from Scottsdale, Scottsdale is going to do it anyway. I mean, that seems pretty likely, right? It seems as though, I mean, that would be kind of hard to enforce. I would imagine that shortly after January 1st, sometime in 2023, we will have a black market for water in the United States. I think it's going to happen. Um, I would point out that this is a situation that people knew, they knew this was coming. But a lot of the local leaders there were more focused on other things, things they could use to divide people, divide communities, rather than bring them together. They're not addressing this. Now, understand, no matter where you live, there is something similar to this that, that could occur near you. There is a climate issue that your community needs to be working to figure out a plan for, and more importantly, working to mitigate everywhere. This is everywhere. It's not just in the desert. Um, the thing is, most of the areas that are going to be heavily impacted, they are areas where the politicians have gotten involved in culture war stuff rather than focusing on real issues. The United States needs to adjust its priorities and it needs to do it quickly because, uh, it's about to get wild out here. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.